Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Inusor Education. Um, we will continue to uh, to take derivatives basically from some basic functions, and today would be trigonometric functions, only basic one, sine and cosine. Now, this lecture is part of the uh, advanced mathematics course presented on Unisor.com. It's for teenagers and uh, high school students. Uh, I do suggest you to watch this lecture from the website because it has nice notes for each lecture. All right, so trigonometric functions and how to take derivatives from it. Well, let's just recall the definition of the derivative. Where delta x goes to zero. Now we will consider the, func the function sine. Okay, so let's just use this definition and take direct limit of whatever is necessary, which is sine of x plus delta x minus sine of x divided by delta x. Now, that's equal to we have sine of the sum of two angles, right? So it's sine x cosine delta x plus uh, cosine x uh, sine delta x minus sine of x divided by delta x. All right. So what do we have here? equals to. Well, we have two things here. We have sine x times cosine x minus 1, sorry, delta x, divided by delta x, plus cosine x times sine delta x divided by delta x. Now, as delta x goes to zero, again, this is one of the amazing um, limits which we know what happens. This goes to one, right? Oops. I meant delta, del <laughs> delta x goes to zero and this ratio goes to 1. Now, this is something a little bit more complex, if you wish. Let's just talk about this separately. I'll do this way. Cosine of delta x is equal to cosine of delta x over 2 plus delta x over 2, right? Which is, this is cosine of the sum. So it's cosine cosine minus sine sine. So it's a cosine square delta x over 2 minus sine square delta x over 2. Or in other words, if sine is 1 minus, if sine square is 1 minus cosine square, right? So we will have 2 cosine square delta x over 2 minus 1, right? So, or if we replace it with sine, it would be minus 1 minus sine square. That probably would be better for us. Um, so it's 1 minus sine square and another sine square plus sine square. Delta x over 2. Yes, that's what we actually need. Now, this is the cosine x. Now, 
and if I will subtract this one, what happens? The result would be sin x times um, it's minus 2, so it's minus 2 sine square delta x over 2 divided by delta x. And here we see a very interesting plus cosine x and I will not really write this anymore because I know that it will go to 1 anyway. Now here is what's interesting point is. I know that sine uh, of delta x over 2 divided by delta x over 2 which I can actually put it here, right? That's the same thing. So sine uh, of delta x over 2 divided by del delta x over 2 goes to 1 if delta x goes to 0. But I don't have sine. I have sine squared, which means sine times sine. So 1 sine and delta x, uh, sine of delta x over 2 and delta x over 2 will go to 1, but another sign will drag it to 0 because delta x goes to 0. So the whole thing actually will go to 0 as delta x goes to 0. Because again, one of these two signs is a sign times sign. One of them divided by delta x will go to 1 and another one would be 0 in limit. So the only thing which remains is cosine. So the f prime of x is equal to cosine x the derivative of sine is a cosine again something which I don't know it, it, it's quite interesting actually that trigonometric functions are related to each other in this particular way it's kind of unusual I would say at least for me all right, and what is the derivative of a cosine? Well, if you're guessing it's a sine, it's almost correct. But let's check it out. So what do we have? We have cosine of x plus delta x minus cosine of x divided by delta x. Again, we will use the formula for the sum uh, of two angles. So that's cosine x cosine delta x minus sine x sine delta x and minus cosine x divided by delta x equals to cosine x times cosine delta x minus 1 this plus this and this divided by delta x minus sine x and sine delta x divided by delta x now as delta x goes to 0 this goes to 1 as we know and from the previous problem actually we did exactly the same thing this thing goes to 0 because this thing is actually with a minus sign, it's 2 sine square of delta x divided by delta x. So this square with the sine of delta x actually makes the whole thing going to zero. And the result is minus sine x. All right? So for function equals to cosine x, derivative is equal to minus sine x. Okay, so these are basically two uh, very important uh, trigonometric functions. We will discuss some other, like tangent, etc. But right now I think it's enough just to, uh, to have this feeling of how exactly we derive with derivatives uh, of certain basic functions. Well, that's how. We just go and directly calculate whatever we can. Um, I do suggest you to take a look at the notes 
because the nodes contain basically exactly the same proof, very, very short proof of whatever I was just talking about, but it's just good to do it. And I also suggest you to, to try to repeat yourself everything for um, x to the power of n, square root of x, uh, e to the power of x, a to the power of x, sine of x, and cosine of x. These are my last three lectures of these um, uh, derivatives of elementary functions, which I was just trying to explain. And do it yourself. I think it's a very good exercise. Uh, and it would help you actually to understand uh, how the derivatives behave better. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much and good luck. <laughs>